Greetings and welcome to another awaited episode of 10K Insight. Today, we are diving into one of the most fascinating topics of digital dentistry, how to scan for a full mouth implant rehabilitation. If you have been in the field for a while, you're probably familiar with the conventional process. It starts with making an impression with perfectly secured impression copings, followed by splinting of the impression copings and making an impression using polyvinyl siloxane impression material. You either pour it yourself or you send it to the lab to create a soft tissue model. But it is a time-consuming and an intricate process. And in case if the impression is not perfect, it means starting from the scratch, leading to waste of time, waste of material and waste of money. But now it's time for a more efficient way to handle the full mouth implant rehabilitation at the same time upgrading your clinic with the latest intraoral scanning technology. In this tutorial, we will walk you through to how to perform upper and lower full arch implant scanning and bite registration using a defined intraoral scanner. First, set up the scanner and enter all the required details into the user interface. Remove the healing abutments from the implant sites to prepare for scanning. So to start, we will scan the upper arch followed by the lower arch. After scanning, trim and remove any excess or unwanted parts. Moving on to placement of scan bodies. So next we perform a radiographic check to ensure there are no gaps between the scan body and the implant. Create holes at the implant sites using a brush. Scan bodies are critical in the digital implant restoration process as they help in designing and fabricating accurate implant supported restorations. It is important that scan body is properly secured into the implant. Without a successful seating of the scan body, achieving an accurate final restoration becomes highly unlikely. Once you have completed scanning both the upper and lower jaws, determine the vertical dimension and create a stop to register the bite in the required vertical dimension as it is a completely edangerous case. In this case, we use law fusing impression compound to make stops on both the sides to record the bite. Keep these stops in place and scan the bite on both sides. Once scanning is completed, upload the scan file. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe the channel and stay tuned for more valuable and insightful content.